part of my life anymore. And, um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, well, I can prove it to you because I have clean drug tests and I drug test every three days and they've been clean for the last eight months. It's like, I'm not going to get into the he said, she said, but I will say this. It's a perfect example of, um, I won't say jealousy, um, but envy and um, a girl that's coming from um, a scared place, a scared girl. And she decides to, um, she decides to react, which most of us um, do. We, we choose to react instead of pausing and acting upon the situation properly. And, and that's not an easy thing to do. And I don't, um, I don't have any uh, hatred or um, anger towards Tess anymore for the vicious things that she does um, because today I can look at her and say that, you know, treat her with love. And though I don't have contact with her anymore, um, I pray for her every day. Um, you know, there's not a day that goes by that, um, you know, that I don't pray for her. I, you know, I pray for her to have, um, to be as desperate as a drowning man, um, for her sanity and, um, to send her as much love as possible that, so she knows that when she is ready, um, there are people that will be here for her and that she doesn't have to live in this insanity anymore and that she doesn't have to, um, you know, that she doesn't have to choose to be this person anymore and that she can go back to being the beautiful, um, happy and joyous and free soul that she is. And she deserves that. And, you know, I could say the same for, um, for every al alcoholic and addict who's suffering, it's that, um, you can be free. You can, and um, it's possible to recover. And it takes being fearless and thorough from the very start. Um, you know, personally for me, it you know, I had to take away the ego. I mean, how many of us run our lives from a place of ego where it's, you know, it's all about me and my feelings and rarely do we think about anybody else's. Um, and it's not anybody's fault. It's society. That's how we are raised and basically programmed is that, you know, to protect only ourselves and to run from a place of ego about, you know, who, who can I be? Can I be the best? Um, you know, and then, and then that just takes over our lives. So for me, when I fully accepted the fact that I'm not perfect, <laughs> by any means, I am not perfect, um, nor do I want to be perfect anymore. I don't. I just want to be happy. And when I, you know, put that ego aside and took a look at my actions, my life, my relationships, my fears, my doubts, my worries, um, my self-hatred, um, and I, I assessed and addressed uh, all of those aspects of my life. And I was able to fully say, okay, this is the person that you were. And this is the person that you are today and you know and to see the growth that I make and you know I think that's the most beautiful thing about what treatment has done for me is allowing me to be joyous and to be free and to have fun in recovery and to surround myself with um, the beautiful people at this treatment center and um, the people that I've met in the rooms of AA and um, and fellowships and you know if I could say anything to any addict or alcoholic who doesn't know um, if they even are an addict or an alcoholic um, or or can't see um, the repercussions of their actions right now or for family members who are in a daily struggle to 
stay sane and to keep your family together, I can say that it is possible. And you just have to keep trying. You do. You have to keep trying and keep pushing for your own happiness. And, you know, I've, I've had to deal with other family members that are addicts and alcoholics. And, um, unfortunately, I've had to let go of some. And, you know, and they, but they know that, um, you know, when they're ready and when they start to do the work, they will have a support team and, you know, your family members can have that too. And if you are, um, possibly addicted to a substance or are, um, you know, it's possible for you too. And, um, you know, it's just, it's definitely a touchy and difficult subject. And, um, and, you know, if I can just give, um, a small amount of hope to you guys, then it's worth it. So, um, <laughs> that's my blog for today. And, um, I hope you guys got something from it. I hope I could answer your questions. And, um, I think my next blog will be about the television show, what I learned from that. Um, I got great questions like, is reality TV actual re actually real? And, um, you know, what were you going through emotionally now that you look back on it sober um, while you were filming the show? Just a lot of great questions, so I'll be addressing that in my next vlog. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye.